Hey there, welcome to Avatar. My name is Mark Sprager and I'm super happy to be showing you around the app today. We've seen countless life-changing transformations since we launched back in 2015 and we want you to use this app in the process of macro tracking to achieve your own. First, some big and important points about how you're going to achieve real results on this system. This is how Avatar works in a nutshell. Now that you have your macros, each day you'll log your food in the tracker. Your goal will be to try to make these circles turn green. Then each week, you'll check in with your new weight and body fat and the system will change your macros based on your progress towards your goal. That's a 10,000 foot view. Now let's take a closer look at the details that make all the difference. Just so you know, if you ever need to come back to this video, you can find it here. These circles at the top of the tracker are your macro targets. You'll notice the min and max on the circle graphs, and that's the range that we want you to be in on average throughout the week. Results are connected to ranges and averages over time, so you don't have to be perfect. This is really important because it's not realistic for you to be perfect all the time. Our system is built to allow you to be a little over or under your targets and still make progress. As you can see on my tracker, I'm not always in range of my macros each day. But if you tap the Show Averages button, you'll see that I'm right where I need to be on average for the week to see real results. We've also got a super helpful tool called Daily Macro Adjustments you can turn on in the Advanced Features area of the menu. This makes it easier to keep your average macro intake in range because based on how much over or under you were on your macros, it will automatically add or take away macros from the remaining days of your check-in period. It's constantly nudging your baseline targets for each day up or down a little, so as long as you're close to these ranges, you're more than likely going to be right where you need to be on average to see progress. We believe that flexibility is the key to success, so we also added this ultra convenient edit balance tool. I use this almost every day. It allows me to borrow fat from my carbs or carbs from my fat, which is super helpful if I find myself blowing through one but being way short on the other. By balancing out what I have left for the day, it's easier to find food options to fill out my macros and it also makes it easier to hit them. As you can see, I finished my day over on fat and under on carbs. But by using the edit balance tool, I'm able to swap some of those remaining carbs for fat to get myself back right in range. Now I'm going to show you how to add food on the tracker. There are a lot of different ways to do it, and each one is made to make the process of logging as fast and simple as possible. If you want to add an item directly to a meal category, just tap the add food button right under the meal you want to add it to. This opens up the logging screen where you can add from your recent items or your favorites, scan a barcode, search our verified database, or even custom add your own food. I find myself using the recent items a lot because I'm a creature of habit, and this makes adding food to the tracker a lot faster. We've also got this spin out menu as another way to access the food logging screen. I'm going to show you three things in particular from the spin out. The first is the suggested foods list, and this is great for beginners because we've got a whole list of items to give you ideas about how to fill out your protein, carbs, and fat. The protein list is especially helpful since a lot of people struggle to hit their target. Toggling over to carbs, you can see that we've even got these broken down into starches, vegetables, and fruits. If we go back to the spin out, you'll see the favorites option. You can save items, meals, and even entire days to your favorites, making it easy to meal plan and quickly log your food for the week. If you've just downloaded the app, I recommend going through your fridge and barcode scanning and saving all the items you eat most often into your favorites. This will save you time later. You can also access recipes through the spin out. We've got hundreds of them pre-programmed into the app and you can enter in your own custom recipes too if you'd like. All the recipes in the app are not only super tasty, but high in protein and low in carbs and fats. Let's take a look at these bourbon glazed donuts to learn a little bit more. 
you'll notice at the top of the screen and anytime you're adding a food to the app that these little hashed pink lines will show up on your circle graphs. This is the preview macros feature, which will show you what impact the food you're logging is going to have on your remaining macros for the day. As I add more donuts, you can see the graphs filling out and how many it would take to put me in range if that's all I plan on eating. You'll see the ingredients listed in all of our recipes, and if you want to swap anything out, like a different brand of protein powder, for example, all you need to do is tap on these three dots. When you swap ingredients, any changes to the recipe's macros will automatically be accounted for. And no recipe would be any good without instructions. So for the hundreds of recipes we've got on the app, we have complete cooking instructions built in. It's basically like a high protein cookbook built directly into the app and you're gonna love trying these out. As you add more and more food to the tracker, you'll notice the list of recent items grow. We're all creatures of habit, so you'll likely find yourself one tapping to quickly add these quite often. It defaults to the last serving size you added, but if you need to change this, you can. You can edit it through the toast that pops up or by tapping on the item in the tracker after it's been added. Avatar is also the only app on the market that properly allows you to track alcohol. That's because alcoholic beverages contain calories in the form of alcohol itself, which is technically the fourth macronutrient that doesn't get accounted for in other types of trackers. To account for the calories coming from alcohol, you'll need to log your drinks in alcohol mode. Before searching your beverage, simply change the toggle to alcohol. When you go to add it, you'll notice that you can allocate calories in your drink towards carbs, fat, or a mix of both, all depending on what macros you have left for the day. Back on the main tracker screen, you'll also see these little white circles on the image by each item that you've added. If you tap these, you can multi-select items and do a variety of things with them, such as sending them to a friend, favoriting them, and copying them to another day or even multiple days, which is great if you plan out your meals in advance. You'll also notice that there are these three gray dots by each item, meal, and even above the day. These are called kebab menus, and when tapped, a whole list of functions will pull up. For example, if I tap the kebab menu by breakfast, I can copy that meal to different days on my tracker, save it to the favorite meals list, and even send it to a friend I added in my tracker. The same thing goes for days. I can copy, save, or send an entire day's worth of food to a friend, all with the tap of a button. Speaking of friends, you can add friends to your tracker through our main menu. And once they accept your request, you'll be able to view their food logs and send them food. You can see here from the green header that I'm now looking at my friend's tracker, and by selecting the items I want, I'm able to copy food from their tracker to mine. You can also send recipes and food to friends directly, which is super convenient if you're eating the same meal with someone or sharing food at home. Simply tap the kebab by the meal, select the friend you want to send it to, and the item will show up in their notifications bell on their dashboard. Then they can add the meal right to their tracker, no need to have two people do the work of searching and logging food when one can do it. Throughout the tracker, we use intuitive gestures to make deleting and logging food lightning fast. Just swipe left to quickly delete an item, and swipe right to duplicate an item, and then grab and drag an item to drop it into another meal category. Now let's take a look at your dashboard. This is where you'll do your weekly check-ins and get to see what your progress looks like over time. Checking in with the system every week is the key to seeing long-term success. As your body changes, your nutrition needs are gonna to change too. Analyzing how your body responds to your target macros each week is what gives Avatar the ability to accurately adjust them so you can keep progressing towards your goal. When it's time to check in, the check in now button will light up on your dashboard and when you tap it, a check in form will appear. Go ahead and plug in your weight and body fat percentage and if you're not sure what your body fat percentage is, just use our body fat tool. This tool allows you to use one of several methods to calculate your body fat, including the three or seven site caliper skinfold method. 
the tape measure method, or even our visual estimator, which uses a 3D model you can spin and interact with to make your estimation as accurate as possible. Once you've entered your body fat, you'll confirm whether or not your macros were in range and you'll select the progress image you'd like to be attached to your check-in. Here you can choose to upload a front, side, and back photo if you'd like to. Keep in mind that you can check in up to two days early or as late as you need to. The system will account for the number of days that you are either over or under the target range and do the math accordingly to adjust your weight loss goal. Once you finish checking in, you'll get a message that tells you why your macro should be adjusted or not. And if so, you'll get the option to go ahead and accept that adjustment or keep your old macros. You may have several reasons for keeping your old macros, the most popular being that you were happy with your weight loss or gain or that your activity was unusual that week. As you log more check-ins, you'll be able to look back over the history of your check-ins through these cards. See any notes or measurements you left and you'll be able to be, get more insight by looking at the analysis tab to see how your body has changed in terms of weight, body fat percentage, and lean body mass as it relates to your changing goals and macros over time. Going back to the check-ins, you'll notice an edit pencil next to some of the most recent ones. By tapping this, you'll be able to edit any parameter associated with that check-in. For example, if you accidentally entered your weight wrong, or if you choose to accept the macro adjustment earlier and now want to keep your old macros, you can update those things. You can also tap on your check-in photo to change the image or expand it. Scroll down to see all three of your check-in photos and scroll right to view the main photo at each check-in and see how your body has changed over time. You can even create a before and after image by selecting the two photos you'd like to compare and then cropping the photos and editing the text as desired. This can be saved or shared directly to social media for added motivation. Now at any point, if you need help, you can access unlimited support from our team of expert coaches through our main menu. During business hours, we've even got a live chat you can use to get help right away. If you need more detailed help or to upload attachments, you can also email us through the app. To further customize your experience, we've got a ton of other features you can explore within our main menu. In the diet settings, you can change your dietary restrictions, edit your carbs and fats, give yourself additional protein, and even edit your calories. In the general settings, you can do things like change your target weight or check-in day, turn on and off message prompts and notifications, reset your profile and update your activity level. If an injury or new job drastically changes your exercise or lifestyle activity levels, you'll want to update these in the app so that your calories can be adjusted accordingly. If you have trouble deciding exactly what activity level is right for you, just tap on the tooltip icon above the slider. This will pull up a guide that will help you determine exactly which level to choose. In the advanced settings, you can do things like set refeed days, turn on vacation mode, or the ability to log daily weights. Set up an intermittent fasting schedule, and like we went over earlier, this is also where you turn on the daily macro adjustment feature if you want your macros adjusted each day based on what you ate the day before. The high low days feature allows you to change the way your calories are distributed throughout the week so that you can eat more food on certain days. To keep your average intake the same for the week, days that aren't selected to be higher will automatically be lower. For example, let's say I have a hard workout on Monday and Thursday. I can choose to make those higher calorie days to better fuel my workout, and then I can set the magnitude of those days using the slider. If you're going out of town for a few weeks or just want to take a break from tracking and checking in, you can put your profile on vacation mode. Once you're back and ready to start back up, just turn vacation mode off and the system will collect the new starting weight and body fat so that you can resume where you left off. When you turn on the log daily weights feature in the advanced settings, a button will appear on the dashboard prompting you to enter a new weight every morning. By weighing in several times each week, an average weight can be calculated and auto-filled at each check-in, reducing error caused by weight fluctuations. 
This is great for people who tend to hold water after a poor night of sleep, a stressful day, or after eating several salty or high carb meals. You can also turn on measurements in the advanced settings and choose whether you want to enter these as circumferences, caliper, skin folds, or both. Once turned on, the system will prompt you to enter measurements during your check-in process. Although you can enter them at any time after check-in by going to the measurements tab on your check-in card. Keep in mind that you don't need to fill out all of the measurement fields for every check-in period as each is optional. Going back to the advanced settings, you'll see the intermittent fasting option. By turning this on, you'll be able to set fasting and eating windows. You can choose from one of our pre-programmed options, including a four-hour eating window, an eight-hour eating window, or a 12-hour eating window. Or you can choose to set custom fast each day, dragging the slider to set your eating window for a different length of time every day of the week. Your phone will buzz to remind you when it's time to eat and when it's time to fast. Once your fast starts, a timer will appear on your dashboard to count down the time you have left. We hope this video gives you a great feel for what it's going to be like creating your own transformation using the Avatar app. Remember, you don't have to be perfect to see great results. And the more that you use the app, the better you're gonna get at the process of tracking macros. Check in each week, keep your circles green on average throughout the week, and you'll see some serious results build up over time. The whole Avatar team has your back and we're here to support you every step of the way. Now let's get started with your transformation.